Did you know that using holy water to wash your eyes, drinking it and then later staring directly at the sun could help heal an injured eye? No, seriously, just ask her. Wu Mei Ho, a 54-year-old Singaporean, landed a 10 and a half year prison sentence after pleading guilty to charges including cheating and causing grievous hurt. Not even Crime Watch can write this because this woman thinks she's playing the sins. Taking divine intervention to a whole new level, Wu brainwashed a group of around 30 spiritual followers into thinking she was a deity who could communicate with gods and spirits, dictating that they call her Lord. And if that wasn't enough, Wu exercised absolute control over her followers, strong-arming some of them to quit their jobs and become full-time minions. Failure to obey came with brutal consequences. What was the worst punishment you faced? A caning? A tight slap? For Wu's followers, it's eating human shit and being forced to jump from the second floor of a building. Wu's followers endured several abuse, including being repeatedly hit in the face with canes, having their teeth put out with pliers, having essential oils pour into their eyes, and being stabbed multiple times on the arm with a pair of scissors. Excerpts from Wu's neighbors describe strange activities at her house, such as late night gatherings on the top floor around a pool where followers sang and played drums until past midnight. Upon interaction, Wu's followers, who introduced themselves as apple, pear, mango, and pineapple, claimed to be reincarnated fruits. When Wu arrived home, they would line up and bow to her like in a Korean drama. For eight years, Wu swindled her followers $7 million, with them thinking it would go to building a school or a temple. She cunningly convinced them that buying her things was somehow worship, while she enjoyed the spoils. In mid-2020, some followers finally went to the police, complaining of physical abuse, financial ruin, and mountains of debt. Despite being diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia, the doctor determined that Wu understood enough to know that her cheating was illegal. Who would have guessed that the bad karma Wu was so eager to clear ended up biting her back?